Break news coming in. IPL COO Sundar Raman has resigned from his post and will be relieved of his duties by the 5th of November. His resignation has been accepted by the board president Shashank Manohar. Remember, Sundar Raman has been under scrutiny ever since his name cropped up in the 2013 IPL spot fixing scam. Also, the Lodha committee will be meeting Raman on the 15th of November to inquire about uh, the IPL spot fixing scam. Joining us for more uh, is our consulting editor sports, Borya Majumdar. Borya, what more details can you add? Yeah, you're right, Simi. This is a huge development in the Indian cricket circles that Sundar Raman has tendered his resignation. He is going to leave the board on the 5th of November. The resignation has been accepted by the BCCI uh, over the last you know, few months, a few, uh, couple of years actually. Uh, Sundar's position has been debated whether he should be there, he should not be there. Should he have left when the IPL spot fixing scandal broke? At all points, he has tried to defend himself until the last dispensation. He also had support uh, from within the BCCI. But since Shashank Manohar took over on the 4th of October, it was a matter of time. Um, should he stay on? Should he not stay on? Is this part of the board's larger reforms process and to bring in more accountability and transparency i can confirm to you that sundar raman has indeed sent his resignation an official press release will be issued by the board accepting sundar raman's resignation that may be sent out either today or latest by tomorrow and on the 5th of november he will he will leave the bcci it's been a sundar raman first with lalit modi then being the closest confidant but finally it comes to an end in rather strange circumstances and he's going to be met by the Lodha committee on 15th of November so his troubles don't seem to end. Will they pronounce him guilty or not? We don't know. At the moment Sula Raman's tenure in BCCI has indeed come to an end. Right, Bura, are you also familiar with the internal politics uh, of the BCCI? Tell us, was Sundar Raman actually seen as someone close to N. Srinivasan? Yes, he was, but that is not, uh, you know, it's nothing to do with vendetta. This, I can tell you that, that, uh, you know, this is not an act of vendetta that Sundar Raman is being removed. Yes, this is an act of transparency, accountability, reform, which Ashant Manohar had promised. But this is a resignation that has been tendered by Sundar himself. And this was, uh, you know, in the offing because Sundar perhaps feels that his time the BCCI and he will now walk away from the board on the 5th of November. His resignation has been accepted by the BCCI. And, 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 and I can tell you this, that he was obviously a very close confidant of N. Srinivasan. His support base within the BCCI continued to dwindle once Shashank Manohar took over and was out of favor. Now the question is, will Mr. Srinivasan be allowed in the ICC? What happens to Sundar Ram in the commission? Will he be pronounced guilty? If he is pronounced guilty, what punishment will be meted out? So these are questions of the future. But for the moment, I can confirm that Sundar's tenure as IP boss, he was the IPL boss who governed the IPL with an iron hand for a while. That is now over and he leaves BCCI formally on the 5th of November. The press release will be issued to me either today or uh, tomorrow. India today can we are going to come back to you again. We are facing some technical difficulty on that uh, Skype line with you. Let's also get a reaction from Nikhil Chopra, former Indian cricketer who is with us on the phone line. Nikhil, how do you see these developments? Well, I guess, uh, you know, uh, we saw this uh, coming with the Lodha Commission and uh, the Apex Court looking at uh, how the functioning of the BCCI is going to be happening. People in question with conflict of interest and in other uh, areas it had to happen, Simi, because uh, now that Mr. Shashang Manohar has taken over and as soon as he took over as the BCCI president, he said, just give me two months and you'll see uh, big changes. So I guess anybody with an iota of doubt, he's uh, removed them or asked them to uh, step down and make sure that BCCI is working and uh, the functioning becomes very, very transparent. And I guess that is what everybody is asking for. Right, but Nikhil, will you explain to us why is it that uh, Sundar Raman's workings or was, why was there even a question on his credibility if there was at all? As per my understanding, Simi, because uh, I think he was related to Mr. Srinivasan at that m moment in time and uh, that conflict of interest, uh, the entire thing started at that moment in time. All right, Nikhil, stay on with us. Let's also get a word from our correspondent, Rasesh Mandani, who's with us on the phone line from Mumbai. Rasesh, what more details can you add? We'll try and reconnect with uh, Rasesh in just a bit. We have uh, Nikhil Chopra on the phone line with us from the national capital. Nikhil, uh, can you throw some more light on uh, controversies where, especially the IPL spot fixing scandal of 2013, where probably uh, Sundar Raman's name may have cropped up as someone who didn't act on those initial complaints? 
that and uh, at that time when the investigations were taking place, uh, you're absolutely right, you know, in terms of taking this to the next level. At that moment in time, maybe uh, he's quiet, I don't know why, but, you know, uh, or internally they were trying to investigate and uh, nothing concrete came out. That is why the Apex Court uh, took a, such a hard stand in uh, making sure that, you know, anybody with an iota of doubt should not be in their present position. And that is why I think I have a feeling that Mr. Shushan Manohar must have uh, asked Sundaraman or told Mrs. Uh, Sundaraman that you must step down because there is certain amount of doubt uh, in how you have functioned as uh, the uh, CEO of the uh, IPL. And um, I guess, you know, in terms of BCC are looking to clean up its act and be more transparent, it was the only way forward. Actually, this was perhaps the only way forward uh, the BCCI are looking at cleaning up the IPL. The big story we're tracking IPL CEO Sundar Raman has resigned from his post. Uh, he will be relieved of his duties by the 5th of November. His resignation has been accepted by Board President Shashank Manohar. Borya Majumdar uh, is uh, with us uh, on a Skype chat. Borya, now there will be a position that, need, that will need to be filled in the IPL. Yes, absolutely. And that will perhaps be done on the 9th at the board AGM. Expect many other important decisions at the AGM. I can also tell you that a number of constitutional amendments have been circulated by Shashank Panohar to all the constituent units of the BCCI. And a lot of these will perhaps be accepted at the AGM. So expect a fundamentally different, uh, you know, a whole set of reforms will be accepted at the AGM. But Sundar's position definitely will be filled up at the AGM on 9th of uh, nor has come to an end in rather uh, unpleasant circumstances one should put it that way because you were asking Nikhil why there were several important uh, things against Sundar one uh, did he get to know about you know uh, spot fixing allegations which the ICC had passed on and did he not inform the BCCI about it two why did he not act on information that the Mudal committee later told him about why did he not act on information against corruption did he know about Gurunath Mayappan did he know about all of these uh, people who were trying to bet and not fix, but rather bet in the BCCR within the circles of the BCCI. So Sundar Raman's tenure, at least in the last one and a half years, Simi, has been mired by a lot of controversies and he was in the eye of the storm. The Loda committee has called him on the 15th. It is now to be seen what happens in that meeting. But for the moment, it's a, it's a, it's a rather unpleasant end to somebody who has been hailed as a decent administrator. And Borya, what more can you tell us about Sundar Raman's career till uh, uh, till he became uh, the CEO of IPL? You know, he has a, had a very, very good career. I mean, make no mistake about it. I mean, when he joined the IPL, he almost uh, he was the second in command to Lalit Modi. He he uh, as the head of IMG, uh, as somebody has experience in these matters. He fundamentally ran the IPL almost singularly. And then when Lalit was was sort of uh, banished from the IPL in 2010, it was Sundar who joined hands with uh, Srinivasan and some of the other board officials at that point in time and was their point person. From 2011 to 2014, Sundar Raman was almost the most important figure in the IPL who ran the IPL. But Guru Nath Mayappan, his fate also took a downturn because, you know, did he know about Guru Nath Mayappan? Did he try to protect him? Did he try to sweep things under the cover? Was he complicit? Did he try to hide information? passed on. All of these charges came to be against him. He tried to protect himself. You know, the BCCI also trying to protect him on the But once the right. dispensation changed in the BCCI, it, right. was only, it was only a matter of time. Pura, thanks so much for that update. Major developments, IPL CEO Sundar Raman puts in his resignation. He will be relieved of his duties by the 5th of November. His resignation has been accepted by BCCI President Shashank Manohar.